One conservation principle that a very good conservator must follow is that anything that you add, you should be able to remove it when there is a need to remove what you have added. So everything should be reversible. You have to have a very good foundation in restoration. I am June Mercy Delisay. I am a conservator and restorer. It was in um, the year 1999 when the National Museum came up with this comprehensive program on uh, restoration of easel paintings. But before I, I, I must share with you that before I became a restorer, I used to be a. a I was an active graphic designer. I suppose it's just natural that I segue into uh, art restoration because of my interest in art. This is my group I founded and established in 2001. We call it ACES, Art Conservation and Restoration Specialists. We did a partial restoration of the Spoliarium. And wow, it was such an honor and it was such a wonderful experience, you know, when you go there. Ah, it takes your breath away. Restoration work is a team work. It's not a kind of work that is done by one person only. But of course, if you have very small artworks to do, you can do it by yourself. But if it's a big piece, then it's always good to have a team with you. It's faster. And you have many eyes. A chemist would look at it differently, and uh, an artist would look at it very differently. <laughs> I can see things that they cannot see, and they can see other things that I don't see. Can you walk us through the procedure of painting conservation? First, we had to document the front and the back and uh, record the, the physical damage and then um, test all the colors to see how, what the condition of the colors are. The next procedure was the cleaning, removing all aged varnish. And after that, we flattened the cracks by using uh, organic glue and a uh, heated spatula like ironing and then later we uh, retouched areas of loss on the paint layer. We applied a uh, kind of putty and then uh, did the retouching later. So all of this should help you in preparing a conservation program or intervention. It really helps to have other members looking at the same artwork. Everyone can contribute and everyone can correct anyone. It is good to have a team member who has the eyes of an artist because with these eyes you will be able to distinguish the unique techniques of the artist. It's not just uh, looking at the colors, it's also studying the texture and the approach of the artist to do the artwork. One must have a very scientific outlook when you study a painting. You must develop a critical mind. I have learned to be very uh, patient <laughs> and to be, you know, like a doctor, to be very careful with your assessment so that the artwork will receive the proper treatment. So I have that frame of mind. You know, you have to be very creative and you, have, uh, you must be able to imagine to, uh, so that you can uh, recreate. You just have to be a very good artist to be able to replicate because you have to be able to visualize what was there before. You know, there are no pictures to help you, but you just have to, to be able to see it in your mind. <laughs> 